Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to Neither Day Nor Night. A brutal platforming game, where a girl sets off to find her sister. Don't hurt me. What are you? I'm a fireball. What do you think I am? <laughs> Looks like almost like we want to give each other a hug, but we can't because you're on fire. Well, I can see that you're not that bad after all. Have you seen a little girl somewhere around here? You're not a big mouth. Uh... I mean, a chatty type of monster, are you? <coughs> Great. Just offended it. Oh, no, I mean... Yes, I, I scared him away, according to plan. Hold on, sister. I will find you. So, this game... Um, from what I saw in the previews, it looks like... Because I haven't played this yet. It makes you kind of think of Heart of Darkness, if you've ever seen that game before in the PS1. But unlike Heart of Darkness, this game does not hold punches on the graphic content level, let's say that. Man, what a beautiful area. Surely nothing will go wrong here. Uh, and the other gimmick of this game is... Ow. Apparently we only die in one hit. So you can kind of see where this game is going to go. Gotta go fast, huh? You know it! Talking fireflies. Are you surprised? Of course. That's odd, because we are not surprised at all. Take a walk and get some fresh air. After that fall, you don't seem quite like yourself. Walks tab. Thank you, Tutorial Fireflies. Space is jump. So we have a stamina meter. And this is not just purely platforming. I believe there is combat. You don't seem very talkative. Just a second ago, you were shocked that we talk, and now you're complaining that we don't talk enough. Seriously, you are a strange being. Catch the edge. Let me test something here. Okay, so stamina does go down if we hang on the ledge too long. I don't know what that was. Checkpoint, maybe? No, there's something up there. Why are you helping me? Good question. I didn't want to be rude. If I offend you, I'm sorry. I don't know how I got here, or even what this place is. Apologies accepted. I'm looking for my younger sister. Have you seen her? We haven't seen anybody except for you in a while. She's seven years old. Her hair is dark and she has a double ponytail. She kind of like she got abducted up into the sky. Like, like a hole opened up in the sky for some reason. 
Unfortunately, we haven't seen anyone like that. Impossible. She must be here. Perhaps you haven't noticed her. It may have slipped to our attention. If we see her, you can be sure that we will let you know. Hmm. There is an orb thing up there. Almost ran out of stamina there. It's awfully tempting. Hopefully there's no fall damage. Well, at least there's no fall damage there. Hey, snail. Are you friendly? I guess so. Hey, how you doing? What a wonderful world. From all this confusion, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Navia, and you. We don't use names. Oh. Try to get through this gap in the wall. Roll. Hey, there's a collectible up there. To travel quickly, it's as easy as it sounds. Jump and bounce off the wall to reach higher grounds. So we can pull a Batman Ninja Gaiden thing? <laughs> no one saw anything. I spilled my... I spilled my... My uh, Capri Sun. Yes, my red Capri Sun. This video is not sponsored by Capri Sun. There we go. I don't like this. Got Mario with. I get very tense when I make jumps. Here, we would suggest you take it easy. Why? On the other side of this wall, there's a spike pit. Crawl. Hey, Snail. I did not totally murder one of you earlier. Can I make this jump, or do I have to rebound? Okay, we made it just fine. They're kind of quiet. Hmm. Nice view. Indeed. You must go down. What? If you want to go further, you have to grab this ledge and drop down. Can I just stay here and die? Wait, what? what? Yes, you can, but making such a decision will decrease the chance of finding your sister. I see you don't like logical thinking. Climb down the ledge. Three, four, run! Ow. Okay, we made it. I just crushed some birds. No! There we go. So it was a little... It's it's not so much like you walk to the edge and just hit down. You have to hold down and walk to the ledge. Which actually, I think... Maybe that's going to work better if something's chasing us. So then it said like, oh... Tap at the right time, come to a pause, like, um... Something like Odd World per se. You, you just hold it down and you're automatically gonna descend down that ledge. Hey, buddy. I need to, uh, take that from you. Still know what the collectibles are for. Oh! Gotcha. Don't want to touch these things. I feel like bad things happen if I touch them. Oof, almost touched that one. Thanks. I guess the fireflies are checkpoints in. So I gotta grab on the ledge, and then if I can bounce off this to grab it, swing that thing. I think we can. No, don't get him height. Oh. Okay. Have I just seen a flying island? 
Yeah, it's Angel Island. Knuckles lives there. Have you ever seen one that does not fly? Yes, I'm standing on one right now. How do you know that? Listen, we don't know what tree you fell from, but here every island is a flying island. This is madness. This is a flying island. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey. Whoa! Okay, so we know what happens when you touch those. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope! Okay. All clear. Whoops! Got a little too eager in that jump. Okay. So we need to... No! Good. Then just crawl under this big boy. All clear. I'm not sure I should trust that plant, but we're going to walk forward. Checkpoint. Okay, look, we got all the collectibles. Nice. First steps. Now we need to go through the... the Thorn Village. There's going to be some... some bramble mazes here. I already hear the drums. We're going up... we're going straight Donkey Kong. How you doing? Do you want to move on? Obviously. Great. As far as we know, there are two options. The first option is that you grow a pair of wings and fly over the obstacle. Oh, you snarky bastards. And what's the second option? You can jump into the wall and further jump by pushing away from it in the opposite direction. Kinda learned this already. So I think I have to jump. Okay. And drop. Oh, good. I wonder if we get anything from collecting everything. Hey, how you doing? Can you see them? No, I can't see anyone. Someone your size should have no problem with that unless you're looking for ants. If you see them, you have to run very, very fast. And why is that? They don't want to play and they break stuff. What do they look like? They are tall. They have long legs, skinny arms, and like you. So they look like you, am I right? Yes. Should I be afraid of you then? No. That's a relief because my little sister got lost around here. Have you seen a little girl with dark hair? I've seen a girl with purple hair. She looks scary. You're like an ocean of bad news. Exactly how scary? Regularly scary. Oh, of course. Regularly scary. Even regularly scary is too scary for my sister. Don't be offended, but I have to keep going. Take care of, your take care of yourself, Sadie. I guess you're like the nicest one of the bunch. Okay. No. No. I see what you're gonna do. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Ain't happening. At least not this time. Snail. Oh, look, there's one of those. I guess you got call them like. They're kind of like Kabuto beetles or something. Uh. This doesn't look too friendly. It looks kind of nasty, actually. 
Whoa. Whoops. Okay. All clear. Nice. You got a cloud card. Oh <laughs> no, my friend. I could just jump over it. I mean, um, that looks scary. Let me get the checkpoint. Good. So I don't have to do all that again. Now, are you friendly or not? Okay, yeah. I was trying, I wanted to give you the benefit of the doubt. You could have been like one of the snails, you know. Yes! No! Okay, I did it. Now she need to get past you. That's right. Um, oh, uh, hey, baby. <laughs> I got lucky there. Oh, crap. How am I supposed to get that? that? Okay. Never pass. That thing is getting a little too close to the edge, but I have an opening here. Okay, we're clear. Oh no, there's one more left. Come on, you bastard. Let's go. Huh, kind of spooky. I'd be surprised it wasn't a trap there. Checkpoint. Hmm. I'm just got to let it go. Now the one last one's real taunting me. Looks like we're... We got a castle? Ah, hey, hey buddy. Hold up, let me just... Batman NES this. Ninja Gaiden and thing. Kinda want that one. I feel like I have to slide down. Yeah, damn it. Yes. Just gonna go up here, climb the castle, and we're all good. We have to climb down before it's too hot. Whew. Made it. To be king of the pond, the challenge lies there. Who dares to enter and leave without head? Without head. This can't be that bad, can it? Oh. The, uh... I guess they're a kind of leech. The head biters. Hello. Hopefully this doesn't break my legs. Huh. Sometimes my legs get broken for pretty short distances, and other times no. I wonder what the... Oh, there's a difference.
Ah. Uh, they're doing some thing here. To get it, I have to, like, face these leeches. So I didn't tell them to collect it, I just made it swoop around. And now I can officially collect it. Ooh. Oh god, that last one. That one on the left ledge. Don't bite my head off, buddy. Huh. Okay. Ooh. Checkpoint. Okay, that's just weird. I don't- I don't- why is the stones flying? You just wanted to crush me, didn't you? Hmm. Spear under Crush Crush. You must collect. Bah! Oof. Oh crap, it's one of these. Really? You doing this to me? Oh no. Okay, now it's ready. Uh, no! Oh hi. Secret. Yeah, but I can't make the jump on this one. This one's a lot higher. I have to do a roll. Okay, what's going on here, buddy? Hey, there's a person. Whoops! Oh, never mind, it worked. Won't question it. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, that's not something. Yuck. What is this disgusting thing and how in the world am I supposed to get through? Uh... I don't... I don't feel like we should walk through those things. I'm pretty sure that's the acidic slime. Maybe I can roll through them? I mean, I can bounce on them. It's one of the two. You have a roll or bounce through them. Oh, okay. Weapons. Attack middle. Oh yeah, there's a directional attack system. Attack down. I'm just going to attack up. You get tutorial slime. Attack up. We're fine. Greetings. I hope I made your journey less troublesome. Who are you? People call me Horned One. You can also call me that if you want to. Should, should I trust you? <laughs> Is that your sword? Did you throw it for me from the ruins? How did you get here in such a short period of time? I was not the one who passed you the sword. A friendly soul helped me. The girl in black. Exactly. Thank you for your help. Although I hope that your gift will not be needed anymore. You went on this journey to find your family member. Is that correct? Yes, how do you know about that? The person from whom you received the sword informed me about it. We know where your sister is. Please tell me how I can find her mysterious being who might have just been summoning here and might be evil. Unfortunately, I don't have good news for you. The girl is alive, but she was kidnapped by a vicious creature, which is located in the ripped heart of this world, far, far away. How? What are you talking about, ripped heart of this world? I will rip his guts out. Just tell me where to find him. If only it was so easy we could get rid of him by ourselves. He split our world in four separate islands and conquered the central island by himself. He is currently there. 
because our land was separated. There was no way you can get there. With the help of his evil powers, he sometimes goes beyond the conquered land. There has to be a way to get there. The only way to connect islands is by using magic orbs, which were scattered across this land. Unfortunately, collecting them is beyond our strength. Okay, that's what we've been collecting. They can be hidden out of reach, very agile and even deadly. I know what you're talking about. Those shiny flying orbs which resemble eyes. What should I do if I catch them? You don't have to collect all the orbs. If you have enough of them, you're able to start the magic mechanism that will connect the islands. You can find it west from here. I suggest you go there first and fill the mechanism of orbs. If it turns out that the mechanism needs more orbs to work properly, you will just revisit places you have already been and collect the required amount of orbs. Good, I can't waste time then. Thank you for your help. Save your sister at the same time you will save our world. Good luck and I hope we will meet soon. Who exactly was that mysterious girl in black? Do you know anything about this monster? Hey! Oh yeah. Playing the quiet game, aren't you, Fireflies? So we're missing one orb. I'm not sure where we missed it. Maybe we died and we nicely lost one. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. You and me, buddy, let's go. Yeah, that's right. I can defend myself now. Now, I'm not the only one being decapitated. You don't want to play games with me, Orb. Okay. Now, you guys explored. I don't think I should smack you. I feel like that'd be a bad idea. Yeah, let me duck down. Never mind. Okay, well, we got a chance. Well, yeah. Ooh, we. Oh, wait, it's not over yet. Oh, my God. Hey, Mr. Bumblebee. More than just a fantasy. Do, 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 do. Okay, we made it. I can feel relaxed now. I don't have to do all that work again. I was wondering if the slimes could even kill us. Oh, yeah. Slimes, can you even kill me? Do you just, like, push me around? Okay, that's what they do. So slimes literally can't kill us. Which is actually a little surprising. Considering whatever else kills us in this world. <laughs> oh, I see. No, no, no! Not here. Ain't doing that anymore. But the slimes do shift the heart, that's the only thing. No! Okay. Hmm. I have to do a sliding run. Oh god. Well, good. Shazam. Jumping attack on the slime? <laughs> that didn't work out quite right. Okay. Easier said than done. It was instinct. Yep, yep. Oh no, we have to go back for round two. Really? Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oof. There may be no giant worms or killer snails in here. Snails haven't betrayed me yet. Oh. Running out of energy. Okay. Oh god! Okay. Whew, that's, that was mean. That was a mean placement. They did that one on purpose. Of course, all game developments on purpose, but you know what I mean. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. We're out. We're going to the bank. Let's go. Secret or not. Between darkness and light, I was placed. I accept them. I care. I guide them beyond. Hosted never by millions of them, I was faced. By myself alone, but what could be done? I gave them so much, so as to find them pure. I served, shown trails and crossroads in my land. Despite storms there on earth, gusty winds of death once had kidnapped Nev. They've been the cries of descendants. However, I will rest and I will change my fate. As soon as a helper from black and white is made, two spirits within one body, I will reunite. She will create new trails by my side. I will start here in this altar today. From this moment on, I will make it my way. There will be two of us, not just me. That's how I want it to be. Mmm. Give a girl to see ever half. Maybe, maybe the thing that they want to make be like the last boss is actually the good guy. It's some, some David Bowie Labyrinth thing where like, I've need to summon you to be my, my mate. You missed a uh, cloud card. I have an inkling where I might have been. Loot! Right. It's one of these. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Here we come in banana and slamming. Whoops. That's a little mean of a it's a little mean of a combo right there. Okay. Cool. The difficulty is kind of jumping up, and this is... I think we're still within the first hour or so of the game. This is supposed to be a six hour long game. <laughs> so, uh, where am I going? Over there? Not, not quite sure. God, that's a long fall. Okay! There we go. Hmm. Scythe and dice. I don't like this area. Looks kind of barren. Hmm. Oh! You can- you can walk for spikes as long as you're not jumping on them. Watch. Interesting. That's how I would have gotten in them at one level. I would have just had to walk back through them. That's actually pretty cool! And then how do I get past you? That actually makes perfect sense. That's weird. Usually it doesn't work like that in a video game. Huh. I'm a little, I'm a little weirded out now. 
Hey, snail. Yeah, you need my face. Cool. Now look, some kind of ancient prophecy. To wave and cave is a mission of mine. My lord ordered this ages ago. And the bright head appears o proper time. Imprisoned in the glass cell into Lord's eyes only skull. I meant to be clever, small yet strong. My experiments went totally wrong. The Lord took me by the head and threw away to the ground the many things beings I've been around. I knew that the goal of my life was only one. A prison bright head become the best son. Years have passed for each one, one eye. I became bigger but my tail not. Don't know why. I've seen a lot, my hands big like giant oaks. Thousands passed over, I'd seen teen at tur the mugs. They call me many names, hundreds of names I have. I wanted to fight them. But Lord forbade me to misbehave. Bugs laid at me and kept myself warm. But I was still vigilant, despite thunders and storms. And then one morning, I caught a bright head. I kept it in the glass cagey, so it couldn't escape. And so happy I had to send the show to my lord. But I saw another bright head running the sword. Kept a bright head here, and the bright head too. That's a sister. I don't understand, I don't know. Which one is true? What my head must be, I have to kill. The mission will end today, this is my will. I see we're gonna have a friendly encounter. We're gonna cook me some cookies. We're gonna have a nice discussion over the latest shows. This is the boss fight here. So red means completely complete. Yellow means I missed something. I didn't get the cloud card here. I have a bad, really bad, terrible feeling about this place. Like it's a boss fight? Yep, yep, nope, this is pretty bad. It's a mammoth graveyard. Nope, everything is fine, I guess. And hey, no, I actually threw it, it's pretty fine. Nothing happened. That happened. Fiery. You can't touch me if I'm on your other side of your body that's holding the thing. Or you could just walk over there. You're losing some fingers, buddy. Need some stamina right now. Okay, now what are you gonna do? He got no fingers. Okay! You have the other hand! So we're just gonna we're just gonna remove all your fingers and just call it a day. So we're just gonna remove all your fingers and just call it a day or something. <laughs> it's like you remove my fingers. I've been defeated. This is basically the final boss from Sonic and Knuckles. Unironically, we're just attacking fingers. Unlike Sonic, we're not as fast. Ideally, we want to dodge to the right. It's like a little more leeway that way. Got an extra finger slice off of it. 
Keep moving. Get some stamina first. Okay, now what? You gonna drop your head on me? No! Oh god! It's a long boss fight. Now I'm not sure if I can slice you out. Okay. A few more. Anything left for me? Um, I see an evil tentacle coming by. I take it I should have not been near that glass when that all went down. Okay, so we just need to dodge a little earlier. <laughs> That's my wand. Save me, thing. Light my darkest hour. Seriously, this tentacle thing's about to murder me. Are you one piece? How'd you get up here? What kind of monster was that? Oh yes. I forgot that you're not eager to talk. And whatever monster it was, we have some real high insight. I didn't know you were able to muster such a fire. Fortunately, otherwise we would be goners. I don't know how you fell into that monster's trap. But for the future, be more careful. Farewell, Fiery Main. I'm gonna fall on you, we match. What happened? Get it, some fire, match. How can I help you? Oh, I guess I'm warming up to you. I get it. You wanna come with me, is that right? It turns out that words aren't everything after all. Let's go, my fiery friend. What's the last level? Just a transportation to next level? I mean, zone, rather? Let's go, Fiery. Do you solve puzzles for me? This must be the magic mechanism that Horn won't talk about. Well, we have more than enough orbs. But if you collect them all, you get the best ending. You know, in between all the carnage, there's some... There's some artistic purpose here. So that's it for neither day or night, or at least when I'm going to be playing of it anyway. Because I'm not really much of a platformer channel. But if there's enough interest, or... Later on, it probably has a good chance this might be continuing in a Twitch stream. That's usually where I put my platforming type game content. But a surprisingly fun game, actually. Um, sometimes these games are just pure kind of shock value. Like, oh... Look how many times you can die and whatnot. Um, this one actually leaned more towards the platforming 
survival edge of things. So I actually kind of got into it. I actually was having some fun with it, just on a, a game level. And it's got a little bit of whimsy to it. Um, I like its kind of whimsical nature, in contrast with its, like, had, like, some dark, twisted thing toward the end there. Maybe as the game goes on, we'll see more of those kind of beings. They look like something kind of, like, out of, uh, something almost like out of Bloodborne. <laughs> Definitely got my memories of Hard Darkness kind of while playing this. Um, obviously, Hard Darkness had no blood, had ironically more brutal deaths, but that same kind of vibe. Whimsical world, looks like they're going to introduce more characters as we go. And then <laughs> things just in that world just whine and get rid of you every way possible. But yeah, that's about all I can really say or add to my commentary about this game. So, anyway, thank you all for watching me play. I'll see you guys later. And take it easy.